um, do we have to change our family's view of us to completely change a dysfunctional dynamic? That's a great question. Honestly, mm. sometimes you can't change their That's perception amazing. of you. Um, yeah. I always tell people when you're in therapy, you're a catalyst. Sometimes people will respond positively. Sometimes they won't. But you just have to do what Dr. Gina mentioned earlier. Live according to your beliefs and values. Right. But you're not a $100 bill. You're not going to please everybody. And, and the other thing, too, is changing somebody's view um, is not necessary for you to shift a behavior because one has ab one doesn't have an effect on the other you know one is kind of what you're thinking and the other one is what you're what you're doing and while they kind of blend into each other the truth is is you can change your behavior regardless of someone's view of you mm, right, right? I, I mean I could I could you know I could start, I don't know, mm -hmm. singing right now and people could think I'm weird, but <laughs> I, I'll keep singing, right? So it, it's kind of like you can still do what you need to do and follow your values and your morals, even if they're right. different. Mm -hmm. You don't need some, you don't need to convince somebody else to see you a certain way. It's not necessary. It would be great, no, but right. it's not necessary. No, right. And Because that would involve them changing. <laughs> right. And I think it even taps into that whole validation talk too. You don't need that validation from your family members. And I think that's something um, we have to grow out of sometimes. Yeah. But you have to be able to self-validate and move forward knowing that you're doing mm -hmm. what you're, you know, what you're wanting to do. Yeah. And that's hard, especially if that's all you know is your worth based on other people's Perspective. perceptions of you.